Welcome everybody from around the world, I hope. Uh, I'm Simon from Painting in France. Monica's behind the camera and we run painting holidays and we do video tutorials and all that kind of thing. We've got a, uh, I'll tell you all about the YouTube channel and everything else later on. But today um, we are going to be doing this painting of Venice, this scene here. Um, but I'm just going to be using one colour. In the past, I've just used a paint's grey. We've got this kind of nice sort of monotone effect. But today, because I've painted this 432 times, I'm going to do it in burnt umber, so a little bit. But you can choose your own colour. You can do it in a bluey greys or slightly warmer sepia colours or red. You could do it in red, couldn't you? Um, just to recap on what we did last, the other week. Um, here's what we were doing. It's, it's been a monotone kind of year so far, hasn't it, really? Um, this was the painting we did, Monica walking the dog. Also, just the paint's grey. Uh, one or two people painted this and sent it in, thank you very much. Um, they actually added some colour into the sky, which actually worked very well. Yes, we had <laughs> some did. really good ones, didn't we? We did. Um, so this, oh yeah, the week before that, we were off to the French Alps, uh, doing this kind of lovely scene here. Now you'll be able to find these videos, um, actually, as soon as possible, um, on our YouTube channel, if you're not already there, and all will be explained. But uh, today, like I said, we're going to be doing this um, scene here. Now what I've done, let's have a little moment of uh, tutorial seriousness. I've got... Just uh, a very quick one. Yeah. We've got a few people saying hello. So oh. good morning to them. From, good morning, everybody. Good from morning. Australia, from Scotland. Australia, Scotland. This is what I like to see. International audiences. Yes. In fact, I worked out... And today. somebody from the Philippines. That is a the first. Philippines. Excellent. We've got some good holiday destinations to go to. <laughs> In fact, I was thinking the other day that if if all the people who liked Facebook our Facebook page, Painting in France, that's probably over 1,500, if they all came on a painting holiday, we would be busy for, I think, 45 years. <laughs> Coming on, about 20 or 30 years. But, no, I joke. Um, we've got, I've got a, this sketch. This, this is a terrible, but I like the layout of this uh, photo. It's, it's very bad quality, but just the way it goes. Um, I've drawn this up again onto, this is 300 gram, or is it 420 gram paper? This is rough Saunders Waterford. Use a 2B pencil just to give a light sketch of the scene. I have dampened the paper, but that's not necessarily. A while vital. back? How, d how long um, did you yeah, leave it? Was, it? Um, that's Wednesday, I think. <laughs> but I'm gonna no, but in all seriousness, when did you dampen I did, it? I mean, about 10 minutes ago. I mean, okay. what you do, you can. By wetting the paper and letting it dry, just so the, so the sheen goes off, you'll find that your your uh, background skies and so on will bleed more easily. Um, so I think this is, this is the, in the, theory. In theory, yeah. Um, working at this angle, everything will run vertically down the page anyway. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a largish brush. This is a this is number sixteen, and I'm going to put a very pale wash in the sky and possibly straight down onto the, all over the water. Right. The thing is about working with, with just one colour, it's a case of adding water to just a very thin back. Don't put it on too, too thickly too soon, otherwise it will end in tears. Just We're going to do a very pale sky and then wash over the water and then dry that off. And each layer is going to be a little bit stronger with the paint, but a bit more mixed in. And as you'll see, it'll, it'll grow magnificently out of the page. Less the talking, Simon. I've, like I said, I've, I've gone for a kind of burnt umber this time. Literally just burnt umber, lots of water. And what I'm going to do, I generally have a little piece of paper on the side just to try that out. I mean, you can mix up any colour. If you're going to mix up colours, it's a good idea to mix a bucket full because you're going to run out halfway and you'll never mix it again. So I'm going to be a little bit lazy and go straight with... Um, so you're using a pure pigment rather than mixing exactly, a yeah. colour? I did, I think I mentioned burnt sienna, but burnt sienna is almost a little bit too red, I think, a little bit too bright. This is, this is quite a warm colour anyway, let me just try it. So I'm gonna, you, you, it's going all over the place. It is, it's just reckless. Oh, it's, it's just nerves, TV nerves. Okay, right, here we are. I'm going to go, let's just get that. That's about the right strength. It's almost a little bit too dry, so I'm going to get a big brush all. You can come, literally, you can paint over everything. And I'm going to come down over the buildings and just add a little bit more water to the mix so we get a bit of a kind of fade. 
you see, it doesn't really matter if you brush dries out. You get that nice kind of grainy, distant Italian morning look. Yeah. So it's just going to fade that out. Looks like a slightly polluted Venice. <laughs> oh, the bees are so unromantic. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful, okay, late afternoon, there we are. But it's not though, isn't it? I mean, Venice is meant to be with the lack of um, cruise ships, etc., etc. There's um there's it's, mermaids back into the lagoon. Yeah, mermaids, it's, yeah. yeah. No, but they literally, yeah. I think they have yeah. said they've got dolphins and things that they haven't seen and the the, um, the um, canals and stuff are a lot clearer than they've been for years. Yeah, that, which has got to be good news. Um, okay, I'm just going to wipe that off and I'm going to refer to my own uh, instructions. What we're going to do is re repeat that the other way around so it's lighter there and then getting darker as it comes down. Let's have a look. So I'm going to carry on with this slightly lighter piece. Let's leave a gap. It's often, if you leave a gap between the buildings okay, and so, the water... Okay, so you're not actually going to start the wash no. dark from the bottom and then this move your way up again. This is the wash challenge because we're going to start light and then slowly add colour, making the paint a little bit stronger. Right, so okay. Forth. So it, it's, it can all go horribly on. And if in doubt, it's best to put it on light and then let it dry and then you can put another layer on. So I'm going to leave a gap. An artistic gap because if you look at the picture, there's a nice kind of lighter areas there, isn't there? It's kind of sparkly, a little bit blurred. Okay, I'm going to go across here. So we left a little bit of a gap. Nice. So in fact, you can do do this almost with a. See, as as your brush dries out, you get that. You can actually get quite a nice little sparkle, don't you? No, <laughs> I've got some white. I've got some white mixed in here. Don't I get, to I, get I get the feeling that you're just making it up as you go Maybe along. No, I should have cleaned my palette better. But now I'm just going to add a touch more of this um, burnt umber into the mix. See, it's just getting a little bit stronger down. We're going over everything, so don't worry. And a bit more. It's just, but that's, that's dark enough. You can always go and make it a little bit darker, but I kind of. Like to err on the lighter side. So yeah. err on the side of caution. Err on the side of caution, yeah. But you see, actually, it's, it's, it's quite rough. So it's actually got a few little natural sparkles, which is, uh, yeah. I think, <clears throat> a lucky accident, really. So there we are. That's got that. And what I would do now, I would then go and sit in the cafe here with a cappuccino, let that dry. But today we're just speeding things up a little bit. It's like... Um, Saturday morning live kitchens. We're just going to speed things up. So can I now talk about? Yes, I'll talk please. about yes. one, one over the noise of the the thing. Yeah, please, now please. I was just saying to Simon the other day. He sort of put me on the spot just now. Is now is actually for us Europeans or people living in Europe. Now is the perfect time. Or well, this year is if it opens up a little bit. The perfect time to go and visit Venice because. You're not fighting with the hordes that are sort of disembarking from the cruise ships. And I'd imagine that it'd actually be quite a special time to see places like that. Yeah, I think it's, it'd be great, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely, to go. Yeah, it'd be lovely um, if it does open up a bit that one can give people a little bit of one's business as well. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to have a slightly finer brush. I always have to check. <laughs> Just sort of grab what... Um, what I've got here, this I think is a number, no, <laughs> it's a number 12, number 12, imitation sable round. Uh, I've got white paint all over the hand, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Um, and now we've just taken the, almost like the mix you had here, just to do that skyline there. Um, I'm going to start literally just there. I'm just going to get around you a little bit so okay, people yeah. can see. When you say the skyline, you mean the actual silhouette the, the, of the, the buildings. The buildings, yeah. Um, see, so that's just a little bit darker than the sky, but it's nowhere near as dark as the gondola will eventually be. Um, so I'm just kind of doing that, and I'm just kind of holding my breath and getting that down to keeping it sort of running down the page. A few more towers, and so I think it's the one in. Mark Square, isn't it? We've got a lot of new people that have joined us Excellent. today. Welcome, so. everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, the informal watercolour tutorial here. I'm Simon. We're doing this is painting in France. Um, but today we're painting in Italy. This is um, just a little piece I often do with, uh, with
with students and um, it's, it's actually on the wall of many students' uh, houses because it, it works out very well. It's a nice job to do. You don't have to always have full colour, you see. I think you can paint any subject just using one or two colours. Is it quite a good, it's a good exercise, exercise to do? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you can, if, you, if you're looking at this now, you're thinking, oh, I better get some different colours in the building. What colour should I get? Should there be some trees in there? How should they, how strong should they be? But actually, I'm just, literally, I've just mixed up this. This is a burnt, burnt umber, which is quite a nice reddish colour. And uh, I'm just sort of literally putting these in. I suppose rough. it teaches you quite a lot about sort of just shade and tone as well. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Which um, I'm actually just going to, with a damp brush, just fade that out at the bottom. So you've got that kind of early morning mist. We say we're saying early morning or late afternoon. It's early morning. Early, early morning. morning. You don't get late afternoon don't, mist, yeah. really. No, you're right. Let's say it's early morning mist. So by painting, you can see. So you can see now the sky we did at first. Now these buildings are a little bit, just a little bit darker. I've used a slightly smaller brush just to get the details in. Um, what you don't want is that your pencil line too strong because it is going to shine through. I mean, I'm kind of just going to dab a few little extra bits and little chimney stacks here and there just to give it a bit of a feel of distance. Um, and that's pretty well that. So I think, um, actually going back to the drawing, I've mentioned it on the step-by-step the -step tutorial where you'll find on our website painting in France um, and the key thing is when you start this drawing start with your, your tower your, 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 the highest point because you want to get that in and you also want to get your boat in so I've actually if you I don't think you can see this here um, here's the drawing so it's, it's that key point so you're the head of your gondolier the bottom of the gondola and that because that will then set set your overall picture up. I've had a lot of people sobbing in our studio here who they've, they've started here and they've, they've got their water level down there and then realised the boat is going to be down here. So a couple of key points, top of the mat, top of the cupola, that horizon line is, get that in nice and straight, I know, and then put the boat in and then you can build the other parts in around it. So I'm just going to quickly dry that off. Any more interesting uh, Venice stories? Isn't it where the quarantine began? Quarenta. The days of Marco Polo. Yes, it was actually. Yes. The um Forty days. Forty days. It was with the plague, wasn't it? During the plague yes, era. Yes, yes. Okay, so now we've got the It's where the word quarantine comes from. Is it quaranta? I believe what we're saying is, isn't it? Um so now we've got a couple of little um Boats and so on, just there, and the little ferries, I think they are, just in the back. So, I'm just going to make those I'm going to add a little bit more colour, just a touch. If you're in, if in doubt, just try it on a piece of paper first. What you don't want is a huge jump. The, the trick, the skill is. So, you literally, as you're coming forward, you're just gradually making these colours a little bit yes, stronger. That's right. and, uh, you're almost too strong there. Yes, but it will fade, I'm hoping. I'm just going to wipe. With a damp brush, you can just wipe that back a little bit. And then, let's have another one here. See, that's too light now. It's a bit of a juggling act, but just take your time. And let's make that a, this one's going to be going the other way. Let's have that one. I went to uh, Venice with my mum many, many years ago for her 70th birthday, and we took the ferry. You can, you can land at the airport and you can take a ferry all the way into sort of, I'm going to say downtown Venice, but you can take a ferry and arrive in this kind of area on the ferry. It's really great. I remember. Yeah, lovely. Well, I remember going, um, my parents took us out of school for two months when I was 13 years old and we did a, a big trip around Europe. Ah, uh, yeah. And we so loved Venice that we actually landed up staying there for a few days extra, which meant that we couldn't go to Rome. <laughs> so we never, we missed Rome, but we fell in love with Venice. I remember even as a kid being just enchanted by it, you know. And sure, yes, indeed. We actually stayed on the mainland. Right. Because we had the camper van, and I don't think there aren't campsites on no, Venice no, itself. No, no, no. So we were catching the ferry across every day. Let me just quickly dry that off. So like I said, you can... We're just slowly strengthening the colour 
as we come forward. And I would sit in the cafe, have another little espresso, let that dry. Because if you start painting the other layers too soon, it will all become a bit too blurred. Um, so I'm going to try and find a slightly smaller brush now. We've not actually been to Venice together, have we? Darling, no. No. Just uh, previous romances. Um, maybe this year not. is. Maybe this year is the year. This could be the year. Uh, yeah. Look at the gap. Got a little. Uh, once again, just slightly darker paint. Okay, there I'm just. So, oh, I guess yes. That's that little pole which is just a little bit further up forward. Yeah, and then we'll just. Hopefully that won't run down the paint, and I'll make it a little bit stronger again. Just adding. We're just sort of adding a little bit of brown. To ignore that white. It's not supposed to be there. So just literally just making that paint a little bit stronger, and then we've got another kind of, um, what would you call that? A boat post. Um, just take a, a deep breath and uh, draw that down. We'll add a, some um, little reflections in there in a minute. For anybody that's joined us a little bit late, um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll the live, well, you can have a quick, quick talk through, but the live does save, we always save the live to the page, so you can always go in and watch the bits that you haven't seen afterwards. Um, and, of course, you always do an edited version, don't you, on the YouTube channel as well? Indeed, that's the idea. I mean, I, I apologise, I haven't yet finished the, the one of the walking through the snow in the vines, but um, I know... <laughs> It'll be there very soon, and likewise, so will this one. And we'll have, have this onto our YouTube channel, Painting in France, and we'll also try and get this up on the website. I'll do, try and get the step-by-step -step process and the video um, on there, so you can print out the reference photographs and the drawings and uh, just do it all at your leisure. The cappuccino and Dean Martin playing in the background. So, oh, Lordy. Is that <laughs> yeah, that one? That's the one. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, in fact, well, we were playing a load of music before um, before we went live. You're not actually allowed to have the live music playing back, which is a shame. I did think about playing um, guitar, and I think. Um, oh really? What, know, wait, what, what guitar skills are maybe these? Maybe Martin with his banjo can um, do a little serenade, and uh, we'll play that next time. Perhaps not. Okay, I let me just look. Okay, my drawing now. Let me go back here. I've actually jumped the gun because I've realised here. Look. I did the background and the boats, and then I put some more in the water before I added these uh, here. But I can, I think I can still do that. So I'm going to take them. Um, we're going to add a little bit more drama to the water. Oh, no, it's not bad, is it? You've kind of, it's it's a little it's bit more. Kind of. You think what? Do you think it needs a bit more? No, it? you kind of. It's a bit more graduated than your um, original. Yeah, I might just. I'm just going to put a little bit more. Not there, but just sort of down here. Let's just take. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I've just made a slightly thicker mix. I'm just going to put a few, there, let's do that. It's a nice sort of, a nice big brush strokes, try and do that. I'd get so nervous. <laughs> Maybe this is the reason I don't really paint. Maybe this, yeah, I'm just going to blend out a little bit. But the nice thing, you get a nice big brush and it will have this, you know, we're not trying to get a pristine watercolour, uh, a pristine wash, you're just going to get in that extra little bit of something in. Maybe just a little bit of... Careful. I'm, I'm jumping the gun now, aren't I? Because I'm looking at your tutorial going, and then the next thing is, is you start <laughs> yeah. putting the detail in the water. Okay. Uh, it is, actually. Once I'll just give that a quick dry, and I'll show you some of these, um, how to put the, the uh, well, how I would put the, the ripples in. At the moment, we've got some nice little sparkles in the mid-distance. You know, you won't really get ripples. That seems it's working out nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. I hang that on my wall. What, another one? Another one. Next is the 420 I've got in a drawer. Has okay. anybody else got a drawer full of um, watercolour paintings oh. that are either waiting to be framed or you just don't have wall space any longer? That's it, that's the limit. In fact, someone, um, I just sort of shared the post this morning, say, come along guys and watch. Oh yeah, just to recap, if someone's just joined us, welcome, hi, I'm Simon, Painting France, Monica behind the... Uh, the camera. Um, we're doing this scene here, you'll find it on the Facebook page, which is presumably where you are. Um, and I've just done a very pale wash in the background first and a little bit of pale wash on the, on the foreground. And then as we come forward, I've just strengthened the colour up. So the buildings were there, quite a nice little dry brush effect there. And each component of the picture is just getting a little bit stronger each time. Eventually we'll have, you know, people full colour 
full strength colour here in the foreground. I've used um, burnt umber, but in the past I've used Payne's grey, you could use a burnt sienna, uh, you could even put some washes of other colours in if you're feeling reckless. But this is more about just the effect you can have with um, one colour. Simple, cheap watercolour paintings. Um, okay, I have got, let's have a look, I'm going to try some you back to your, what was it, number 12 brush? I've got the number 12 brush thing, but I think that's actually a bit too big. I'm going to look, I've lost, I've lost some, you know, is that right? No, I don't know. <laughs> that looks like something that you've... Question, uh, yeah. um, this is quite a nice, I'm looking for a number 8, which I put, here it is over here. Oh, sorry, I was showing someone online, someone asked me, someone asked me, um, what did I use to do the ripples? And actually this is a good one, this is number 8. Imitation save all round, and what I'm going to do, I'll just show you a scrap piece of paper. You get a nice sort of brush full of paint, and it's what people tend to do is this kind of thing, which kind of works to a point, but it's you know it's I prefer slightly stronger mix of paint. You can almost if you kind of almost draw your brushes, just sort of press on. Sometimes it's a little bit harder, sometimes you know, you just by pressing on you get a little flex in the ripple. You see what I mean? It just looks a little a bit, bit more, more natural. natural. Yeah, I mean, it's a very odd looking picture. Again, I mean, do you suggest that people like you almost doing it here, sort of almost just practice the motion before they Absolutely, go yeah, on to the... That's a really good idea. What, yeah, that's a really good idea. I'm just practicing the paper. Basically, the ripples, I think, work best if they're, they're bigger in the foreground and then eventually we'll, we'll put some just sort of smaller, lighter ones in the background, but it, it just has a, okay, this is brown, but it, it looks more natural, you know, than, than doing that kind of thing, yeah. which people tend to do. So there's today's tip, one of many. Um, so, let me have a look. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start down here. We can go over the boat, you see, as well. I'm just gonna start here, and we're just gonna... So you're gonna start in the foreground, basically? Yeah, I just wanted to see how, how big they were. It's actually a little bit damp. So I'm going to put the, but this is almost like the first wave, if you excuse the pun. Um, take it off, take it off the page as well, so it's got a nice feel. I'm just trying to remember where the boat is. Okay. We've got a lot of new faces today. Welcome new faces. Thank you for having me. It's uh, live in lockdown, Simon and Monica. Every couple of weeks we'll be going somewhere doing a little painting like this for you. And... Um, can we okay. go to the Cinque Terre sometime? Cinque Terre? Well, we, we could do, but that's, that's a lot of buildings. Is it? <laughs> it's where I want to yeah. go. I would, I'd love to. Cinque, yeah. It's not that far from us. It's yeah, probably about there. a four-hour drive from us. That would, and it's also on the list, isn't it? Post, yeah, it's also on the list. Post-COVID list. I'm sure well, not necessarily post-COVID, but at least if we don't have a hard lockdown any longer, which we're yeah. not actually here, but... There's not, there are rumours flying that we might go into a lockdown again at the end of the week. Right. So now look, I've got the sort of initial kind of swell and I'm just going back a little bit further now. Um, we can go over the boat, like I said, because what you don't want to do is just paint up to the edge of the boat. It's quite, because the boat, the gondola, is going to be painted strongly over the top, it's going to cover these marks. And it's quite nice to have your, the flow. Let's have a, let's so that it does look natural because yeah, water is not going to just... Flow. And as you go back, just a little bit smaller. In fact, like you can Let me just zoom in on that a little bit so that people I'm almost can... just sort of drawing this, just pressing on a little bit here and there, just to give that... Um, you see what I mean? So it's now kind of going back, and that probably will fade. I'm just going to put a few more here like that. Um, and then we're going to come round here. And he's not even looking at his reference photograph. Like I said... I have painted this quite a few times. and We've got a um, recommendation for a clifftop restaurant in the Cinque Terre called the Hotel Rosso. Hotel Rosso? Yes. Oh, that sounds like the perfect place. Let's, we'll find it and we'll paint the view in the next... In the next but it'd be great of... fun. I mean, we could actually take, all we do is take a few small backpacks and, yeah. and literally each day walk on to the next town and we can take Millie with us and she can do it too. Millie, our spaniel. Where is she? She's really excited uh, during the tutorial. She's given up. She would like to be going for a walk, but, she, this, will. but she will be at lunchtime. Yeah. At the moment, it's actually too cold in the mornings. It's, it is, isn't it? it's freezing. freezing. Eat for French, for France. Okay, now, yeah. while I've got this kind of 
thing going on. I'm going to just add a little bit of just a little bit of reflection here, and don't worry about you know over or doing too much. I mean, yeah, do worry about do doing too much. I mean, yes, it's great to have a little reflection in here and there, um, and you can. You know, you can always go in and think, actually, I need a little bit more here and there. See, it's just getting a little bit smaller as we, as we go away. You really are just now starting to almost dot it, aren't you? Yeah. But keep it irregular. That's the thing. And off the page at each end. Don't, yeah, don't just do this. Please, don't just do this. Let's have a little bit more here. And I'm, I'm going to let that dry because it's a little bit wet over here, look. Yeah, you've got a bleeding a bit on, haven't yeah. you? But that's OK because I'm going to let that dry. or I will dry it. And then we'll put it on even stronger, you see. Um, if you look, we've got this, we're at this kind of stage at the moment. And then on the final one, you see, we've got really strong. Plus this, this guy is almost silhouetted here. Okay. So let me just um, try this. So are they, is the, is the uh, Villa Rossa open? The, the Hotel Rosso. Oh, well, no. the hotel is possibly open. The restaurant oh, will not be, though, no, right. unfortunately. Oh, well. well, save it. But you never know. I mean, I don't know how closed Italy is at the moment. You know, yeah. we don't have any restaurants open, but some European countries do. Mm. All right, let's just try that out. But we better make sure that we get our residency papers sorted out, otherwise yeah. they might not let us back in again. It's a one-way trip. <laughs> How do you like the idea of living in Italy? <laughs> they just uh, have to try that. Okay, so now we've got that. What I'm going to do, what you can do, if I can find one, is um, I'm just going to remind myself where, where the actual gondola is. Because I want to make it, you know, it's got to be a nice sort of gondola shape. I've lost it. Um, this is going to be quite dark. Here. What? Now the important thing here is that this is out of the water. This is in the water, and this is out of the water. So we're going to change that. Make sure the reflections um, illustrate that. I suppose you wanted to look like a gondola, not a submarine. Exactly. Yes. Or just like uh, too much going on. So I've got quite a big brush again, and now I'm getting... You know, it could actually start looking like a submarine okay. if you're not oh, careful. Let me just put a few... Okay, so now we're getting... Um... So is, just out of interest, can I just have a look? Is that yeah. almost pure pigment? It is. Actually, I've, I've put this on, and I'm thinking what I should have done is perhaps the reflections. But no, imagine you've just made this mistake. I'm just going to put, the, put a nice old uh, brush oak on. Um, I've got quite a big brush. Use whichever one you feel. That is your number 12 again, isn't it? It's the number 12 again now, yeah. yeah. Okay, sort of referring back to the picture. There we go. So, yeah, this is a pretty strong mix of paint now. But what, what you've got is, if you look here... Yeah, I noticed you've that You've just got a picture. little bit of lightness on the deck. If you just made it completely silhouette, which it, most of this is just a silhouette... If you made that solid as well, it's just going to look like a cutout. But what we'll try and do is just keep this little lighter, a little highlight there. Yeah, and I'm just showing that's, how that's, it's... There we are. That's how it worked. Inspired, yes. That's a... Ooh, that you can artist. even make that, that highlight a little bit stronger than you could. You did, I will you? do. Sorry about that. But um, You're about to drip. Okay. There we are. Just... Whew. So I'm just sweeping that along there. I mean, I might, I might come back and make it all... A, a little bit stronger again. Um, you know, if in doubt, just kind of ease back on full strength. Um, you know, I might find that this is not a strong enough pigment. But, oh, that's some uh, canopy on the front of the boat. This is almost too big, this brush is almost too big. I'm just kind of sweeping that in. So you can see now, I mean, gone. But now, where is that light area we're talking about? Oh no, <laughs> Mr. Roberts. Okay, so what do you know done? what would he do without me? What you've done? So you take your damp brush, and <laughs> then you just wipe that area like that. See, and that just comes down there. But actually, this is going to be darker anyway. It's, it's still going to be darker. But it's not a bad idea just to keep an area kind of uh, lighter. 
as my beautiful assistant has told me. <laughs> and okay, I'm going to have a slightly smaller brush. And let's get um, Luigi into place. Key, key with the gondolier, don't make his head too big. Um, so even if it's like a little starting point like that, um, just kind of... I'm just going to try and see if I can come in over your shoulder. Which way? No, don't sure. worry, just like that. Um, so I'm kind of drawing, yeah, if you look, there's a little sort of gap in his arm, it's quite nice. Rather than just being completely solid, take your time on the drawing the figure. Oh, look at this, I'm getting, getting a bit wet here. Um, Do you want to dry that off for just a uh, little bit, love? No, I should carry on, I should carry on. Um, basically, his little arm comes down there, it's not quite long enough. And we're just kind of, yeah, I might, I might make all this a little bit darker again, but if in doubt, you know, err on the side of caution. It's got, what's quite nice is, is if you capture that sort of, that sort of slightly bent, bent leg. I mean, I can tell this is too watery. Right? Well, can, can you just rescue your, your drop there? Where? There, 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 it's going to start running. Oh, okay. So, Sorry. yeah, if, you, if you're suddenly thinking, if you're suddenly thinking, why did I paint this vertically? You can just dry your brush out and run your dry brush along the edge, and that will um, just save that practice running down the edge. That's okay, good. We're going to have lots of more ripples and so on in there. Um, and now back to the, this is like sticking with the number eight brush. I'm going to just paint that in. You see, that's what you can do, like sort of, that's not full strength yet. So it, it just gives you the confidence. Okay, I've got the shape of the boat in nearly. Um, I mean, I've done, it, I've, I've done a few colour versions um, of a different, different angle of these uh, gondolas and they're quite amazing boats. They're, they're actually twisted. You know, the guy, it's twisted so that, I don't know why, but it just must be the way that the, the guy always stands in the same place. Or oh, I guess they've got female gondolas, sorry as well but it's just bizarre to try and draw them i'll, I'll see if i can find some it's pictures. a gondolier and okay. a gondola it's a gondolier uh, yeah the gondolier is the person who's presumably steering and yes. powering along no it's just that you said that there are male gondolas male gondolas are yeah. struggling struggling okay so this is well being italian it will have a gondola gondolier no but i mean even the boat gondola. will will have a yeah a female, it, male. Yeah. Is it a f <laughs> is is it male or female? I have no That's idea. Like, um, so I'm just literally, I said, if just be careful with the with the size of the head. See, we've got a couple of little. Oh, these are our these passengers. Are, I think these are passengers enjoying a romantic early morning, misty drive on the way to the cafe. Did you go in a gondola? No, I never have actually. No, no. Neither have I. Did, we did go. Uh, we went on a water taxi. We went in a, yeah, we went in one of those, those James Bond ones. Those, those vaporettas ones. or whatever really they're called. Uh, yeah, is that what, yeah. I think they're, they're called they're a vaporetta. Really, that's really cool to get a ride in one of those. Um, so, I'm just going to touch this. I think thing. there's one down in Set where you can, so Set is a, a really beautiful seaside town down here and they actually call it the Little Venice of, right. of France because it has... Um, a canal system as well coming in from the sea and um, and there's somebody that actually offers a um, trips out yeah. on one I of those yeah, those beautiful they, Italian they boats the actual I'm sure there is the right word for the pole that is using I did draw that with uh, a ruler straight edge but that's okay because there's nothing worse than a wobbly pole. Um, you can just do this, <laughs> please. But by painting it freehand, it just isn't up. So I'm sorry, I've got the giggles. Oh so I'm just taking a deep breath and just... What I might do, uh, if I can find a ruler, a ruler, yep, here's a nice little ruler. This is something you can practice as well. Although, you can actually run, I don't know if you can see this, let me just... Yeah. You, you fix your hand, you rest the pedal on there and just run it. You've got this finger up against there and it just sort of 
from the cinnamon. Yes. Just kind of, yeah. But because this is all wet, it's going to get a bit of a mess. I might just. Let's give me that. It's a nice way of just. Keeping that really straight. Yeah, there you go. And that's it. Now it's going to be, that was the, the classic way of the old illustrated in technical studios, you know. Oh, yes. I used to be that. Working with a brush and ink. Can you imagine doing illustrations? Technical illustrations with a brush and ink, not even a repeat no, pencil. Pen. Um, okay, we've got that. I think that's got quite a nice sort of shape to it. Well, said his, his head's not too big. In fact, he looks a bit too small, but I can always make his head bigger, but you can't make it smaller. Um, while that's drying, I'm going to put a few more. Let's go, let's go, Maddie. Let's get some. We've slumber. still got new people joining us, and once. Welcome, new people. Again, we'll just remind you, we will be saving this after we finish, so you can always go back and look at anything you've missed. That's right. And we'll, I'll try and put the video up on our YouTube channel, Paint in France, so you can peruse that and um, paint away with your cappuccino in one corner. Um, just to recap, we've painted very light background colours first, the sky, the sea, the lagoon here, and then each layer has had a little bit extra colour added, so we're just, as we come forward, you can see the paints, the mix is getting stronger. And now I'm gonna, we've got this kind of basic uh, rippling here. I'm gonna put some very strong ones in there. Same sort of size brush, this is a number eight. Number eight. And um, well, this isn't, I mean, that, that's not exactly the, the style, that's quite speculative, but I, I can't, I'm gonna put it, a nice little, here we go, this is a sort of, just that kind of drawing, you're pushing the, you're pushing the weight down on the brush just to kind of give it a little bit of flex. That can kind of come over there. And I'm just going to let that fade out there. So it's darker here, getting lighter as mm -hmm. we go back. So we've got it very dark here, so I'm literally just going to almost just... Well, it's almost the, the reflection or the yeah, shadow yeah, of the yeah. boat, isn't it, in the water? Got that nice sort of... Just a little bit of there. And... It's actually quite nice. You see, you've got a little bit of, by accident, <coughs> a little bit of reflection on the hull of the boat, which, which will come in handy later on. So I'm, I'm just going to put some nice... Can you, can you, can you zoom in on that camera person? I can. Um, How much do you want me to zoom in? Just so you can see the, the light, yeah, the way the, the brush is flexing. So you get some nice little... And the key is, is random, really. You know, what you don't want is that kind of dabby effect. It's a natural tendency of some chest. It's still getting there. Could be even stronger. So at the front, that was the thing about having the boat. We want it to... Because at the moment, it kind of looks like it's about to take off. Yeah. So we've got... Let's have this... I'll make it darker on the edge of the boat, look. So that's a bit more... And will that help? That helps. I know it's just, not really ground, but it is kind of grounded. Yeah, what we want is, is this dark areas to stop here. So you, so this, what you don't want to do is this dark area going all the way up here because right. that, that would pull the boat down. But now you can see the, the, the rear of the boat, the gondola just lifts out of the water yeah. and we've got our strong, strong, like this kind of pretty well solid paint going on here now. I want to keep a few little gaps. So I'm going to use some... <clears throat> White gouache, just to sparkle it up a little bit later. But take those ripples off the page as well, just... There we go. I think that's, what do you think? Yeah. Working all right? It's getting there. Getting there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're not too far off. Um, Am I a cruel taskmaster? You are indeed, you are indeed, but I love you. So what we're going to do now is, I'm just going to strengthen this up a little bit now. Almost straight out of the tube, the paint. And um, see how it's got thick that's going on. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of lightness on the edge of the boat. Let's see if we can get that. Here's this sort of uh, area there. I'm just going to try and leave that slightly lighter there and there. A little, damp, a little damp brush. Just to smooth that off? Yeah, I just want to, I want to, for unusual, I want to just, although it's not in the picture, I want to just keep a hint of reflection at the bottom there. I'm not sure I've forgotten it. Anyway. Yeah, it looks good. 
and then just a little bit darker here. So you, now you can see how the gonda is, is once again, it's actually st a stronger mix than the everything else in the picture. That's the idea anyway. Uh, that's a little bit more there. And it's got a few things on there. And now suddenly it's taken form. Taken form. For you, this is going to be on my uh, kitchen wall with all the others. I've just got a, a, it's a little bit strong the contrast there, so I've just got a damp, damp brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of a. You're just softening it off a bit. Just softening off a bit, yeah. Just sort of. It's kind of important to have that, but I just want to soften that off. What do you think? Yeah. I kind of um. You've got the camera lights. Camera lights just blocking my view. That's a little bit of a wobble at the end, but we can say that is um. Yeah, I'll just turn that into a. It's got a little bit of a. They have a kind of canopy they, they leave on on the top, so I actually make more of that. <laughs> um, one did. And it's looking a little bit like um, slightly robotic here on the back. Um, but I'm going to put the strength in him up. I'm just going to sit down for a second, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Now, I think I will try to just to make his head a little bit bigger. Are you going? He looks a little bit, I think... Uh, a bit of a pinhead. A bit of a pinhead. But like I said, you, you can just take your time on that one. It's easy to... Uh, I know, you want to try and keep the, that sort of profile. I think that's... I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to go too far. You don't want to overwork it? No. Well, it's not so much that. It's, it, you just don't want his head to look too big because then it just ruins the whole picture. But, it's, yeah, it's looking a little bit weird. But, um, make a fine tune through the sun. He's just got a, oh, that's it. Just sort of slowly build up the shape of the figure. Bonus points for getting a gap between his jacket and uh, his arm. Um, so that's kind of that. Um, I'm just going to dry that off. And do you want to help hold in the? You got your flask of tea. Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pour right. myself a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well I'll just uh, dry this off. Um, and what time? Is I mean, if you think off? it's hard work painting, you try holding this camera for. Oh. Right, I'm going to dry this off. We then, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to this point. Within 45 minutes, this is this is the, this is what I call value for money tutorial. One tube of paint, some water, and a brush. Um, I'm going to just dry this off. Um, and then we'll put some uh, nice little sparkly bits in, and I think that will do it. Oh, I think our umbrella that is covering our orange tree is about to take off. Oh, we've got, yeah, we've got a, a few kind of citrus plants in the garden which we've done our best to cover over against the frost. Um, and we're fighting losing battle. Actually, we can stop that now. Actually, it's in quick. I mean, we. I haven't got this solid this time, and in a way, it gives a little bit of bit of life to the picture. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, he can go mad and just paint that absolutely solidly, especially if you're using a paint grey. You know, he can get that sort of thing. And what I might do is just that, that pencil line is bugging me slightly. But you know what I find? I mean, on the picture here, yeah. there's almost. It might just be because it's a bad printout, but there's almost a slightly. Yes. Darker line running up against the buildings. It is. Why Which don't I take some, a fine brush? Could help you get rid of your... Yeah. Um, what I'll do... I don't know why I'm giving you advice, because no, it's not fine. like I can paint. No, 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 just, uh, don't worry, that's fine, it's all good. I'm sometimes like an art be, critic, aren't sometimes I? Sometimes you can be with your club. Just, what you don't want to do is have it too strong. Yeah. Uh, I just want to almost, an almost dry brush, quite fine. I'm going to risk. Ah, I saw a familiar face that looked like. There we are. Helen Clapham. Hi, Clapham. Hi, Helen. Uh, good morning. Uh, it's been coming to our workshops here in the studio for the last 95 years. Amazing. Determined lady, very talented. Um, here we are, some. I'm just putting it, I don't, I think it works. It's just almost hinting that there's a I think she is right. 
So there's a woman called Sue Abel who said, I love this, but and I might be wrong, but shouldn't the oar be coming over the right of the gondola? And if you look at that... Oh, yeah! <laughs> he's actually... <laughs> have we got her address? Can we, can we block her? <laughs> You're right. Do you know, I've never done that. That is well but, noticed. Oh, well, I've just... Thank you very much indeed for that comment. Oh, you know how you that. said that sometimes you're just that little bit too close to something? That's right. Yeah, it was a deliberate mistake, and I'm glad you spotted it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this ruler again. Look, and what I'm going to do, just line that up. It'd be, ideally, you have a longer ruler, so you can line up your, your point. Let's just take it down there like that, just, because that's the line I've got it. There we go. Look at that. That just finishes it off. Thank you very much. There's five euro check in the post. Sue, what was her name? Well done, thank you very much. Sue Abel. Sue Abel. Well done. Yes, I like that. Someone's, I'm glad someone's paying attention. In fact, while we're there, I might just, although it's not in that picture, I'll just put a, I might just have a hint of something like that. There we are. Um, so all that's to do now is the, just to kind of annoy the water kind of purists, uh, is to put some sparkles in the water. Um, now, so what, I've, what you can do, and what we have done in the past, you can um, cover this with a masking fluid, just sort of dotting in uh, your highlights, and then paint your picture, and then dry that all off, and just wipe those off, and your, your, your little sparkles will come up. But, because I'm, uh, I'm a professional <laughs> who knows the shortcuts, you mean a, happy, a commercial see. illustrator? A commercial illustrator, yeah. Uh, although, yeah, so I've just got a, a fine brush. I've got some gouache white just mixed up there. And I'm just going to put some little, you know, little dots in here and there. But once again, keep, keep it random. Don't just put them all in the line. Um, he said put them all in the line. Uh, different sizes as well. So it's kind of like, it's sort of backlit. You know, he's lit. And we want to just have a... Few little, so a few little sparkles near his. Um, there will be a bonus point. Is it Sue Abel? To name the name the pole the gondola uses. This is for a bonus point. Um, I'm sure if Helen's still there, she will also know the the name. Probably in Italian as well. So you see, I'm just adding a few little sparkles. You can go on and on and on. Um, it's quite nice just having a. Well, it just gives that sense almost that the, the sun has, is just it's rising good. up in the foreground and just yeah, starting yeah, to, yeah. to sparkle on the water. Oh, the cafes are just opening up. Oh. Nah, just you know, like, one can almost feel it, oh, can't one? It's just that sort of sense is, yeah, the umbrellas yeah. and the, the market, because there's always that amazing fish market on the, um, ah. at, the, at the front of... And so the market is just opening up, the stalls are opening up yeah. as the day starts. In fact, I think it was Helen who was telling me that she'd went there obviously in a previous century years ago and was got almost got there to the St Mark's Square very early before or as the cafes were opening it was a beautiful rainy morning but it yeah. stopped raining and just the sparkled and the steam arising and so on and now I've got distracted but my blobs in too big but you get the idea I'm just kind of random we're all feeling quite that. nostalgic about holidays and yes indeed so, um, I think these moments away, aren't we? What people really need is a, to plan a painting holiday in the south of France. <laughs> so, yes, do get in touch if you'd like to come. I think that's. I, I think mean, that's we are at this stage still planning to go forward with all of our holidays, aren't Definitely, we? Yeah, we've got uh, quite a few booking for June and, June and September. So, um, do pencil into your diaries, get in touch for a little bit more information. But let's go back to this. I think that's, that's kind of got it now. I think. We've got the, what I'll do, I would normally let it dry off, but I'm just going to peel that off. You want to show people how it... The reveal, there we are. So it's always nice just to put a bit of masking tape on the side of your paper. I'll leave the top on, otherwise it'll be the floor. And, um, there we are. Signature here. We have that framed up and sold by the end of the afternoon. Um, how's that look? Please? Okay. Are you pleased? I, I am actually, yeah. 
I think the, the best tapper was actually adding a bit of pole there. So <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, it does work there. You're right. Yeah, he's got it there now. In fact, is the pole... Has he, is he facing us or is he facing away? It's so funny. Oh, Helen's actually away. come on and said, Venice must be wonderful right now, no manky cruise ships. And we were saying exactly we were saying the same exactly thing earlier. Yes, it's going to be on our... Saying it's the year to go and visit Venice if you can get there. Yes, if you can get there, we'll be there. In fact, we're going to go and paint this as soon as we get a chance. Who knows, next, next time we might be down the Cinque Terre on the, uh, on the coast. We'll see how it goes. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll be... This will be saved on, on our Facebook page. And also I'll be doing an edited version, perhaps with music and so on, um, for our YouTube channel, Painting in France. Hopefully have that by the end of the week, um, unless you're already watching it on Painting uh, on our YouTube channel. But uh, I hope you're all keeping well and safe and um, keep painting. Look forward to speaking to you again. Bye for now. Ciao, guys. Right. Bye. Cool.